get this off there we go disconnect that line and hook up this line and then take that discharge hose the sanitary sewer and in this case we're sitting here by Wash Bay so we take it over to the sand trap there they would discharge into the sand trap now and we'll do that later in the day we'll discharge to the sand trap over here at the end of this we'll discharge some wastewater over to the sand trap for right now we're going to hook it back up to the recycle 16 We'll disconnect our hose and we'll now then we're gonna now then that will discharge into our 125 gallon recycle tank. Okay, at this time I'm gonna pick up 50 feet piece of uh, vacuum hose and hook it into the vacuum sludge filtering system. And it's best if you have a big hose reel to handle this hose, but 50 foot's pretty convenient to handle it manually. The first thing we're gonna show is the surface cleaner the vacuum recovery surface cleaner. And then we ran it like for, for the demo for the Denver Inter International Airport. So we'll show some cleaning on that, which was on a fuel island, which had some real heavy grease and stuff on it. But basically it's gonna pick up all the water and leave just a damp surface. It'll be putting down five gallons a minute 3,000 PSI, 200 degrees Fahrenheit. and will be picking up all that water in one pass. Okay, at this time we're going to start the generator and the vacuum sludge filtering system and then the uh, RK-41. I'm going to go verify that we got vacuum. Yeah, we got... Can you hear that? Put that up to our surface cleaner. That will start up our RK-43. Got our burner on. Take about a minute to get heat. Okay. This will give you an idea. They're five gallons a minute. Okay. There we go. As you see, we're catching all the water. We said it was a dirtier surface, but we're gonna dub in some film where we were on a real dirty surface. The main thing we want to show you here is how it recovers all the water.
again. I'll run it over to the side. So you can see the effectiveness. And if you can use without chemical, it's best to use it without chemical. If you have to have heat, you have heat. Okay. Demonstration at Denver International Airport. This is a fuel depot. Heavy grease. gives you an idea how bad it was when we started. <laughs> I didn't get a shot. We didn't get that edge cleaned. That's how bad the whole parking lot was. That's on fast. I like that. More than that? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll show it to you. Yes, you did. You just like a mechanic, you got a toolbox full of tools. So basically, wash water recovery is not putting anything down into the storm drain. So the vacuum sludge filtering system hooked up to the surface cleaner, the vacuum surface cleaner is one way to accomplish that. Another way is I want to put down is a Vac a vacuum boom to where you'd use a regular s surface cleaner to run, to run the water down to it. And then you'd, you would uh, run it through an oil absorbent boom. And then into a vacuum boom. Normally you're going to want to try to channel the water down to a narrow area to where you could pick the water up. And you want to start your pre-treatment right on the uh, surface. So if you run it through a oil absorbent boom, it will remove all the free hydrocarbons. So I recommend as minimum measures that you put an oil absorbent boom down. 